We've got a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.1 patch last night. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. So since the last uh, couple of days, Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, we did have two P2 patches, one for each day. Just gonna quickly go over both of them uh, since we did not cover the Tuesday. So testing focus for both of them remain at stability and bug fixes as well as the Argo Atlas. So for the very first patch that dropped on Tuesday, they made updates for ships and vehicles. It says the Argo Atlas, it says they slightly increased the Atlas uh, sprint speed, uh, which is good. Um, added a new collision detection for the Atlas strapped beam to help uh, avoid cargo colliding with assets when being picked up and placed. I didn't notice this issue before, so hopefully this is fixed now. A few bug fixes for this one. They fix an issue where single item drag no longer works. They fix an issue where storing a ship with the Atlas inside destroys the Atlas. They fixed an issue where the Atlas can be piloted while incapacitated. They fix an issue where the Atlas uh, walking carrying cargo on a ship causes damage. They fix an issue where when moving mission containers onto a freight elevator, some of all of the boxes may not come up, uh, the lift or deleted. They fix an issue where you're unable to sell gems uh, for merits in Kleshner. And they fix an issue regarding to item banks where the select all button incomplete functionality. Um, along with that is one server crash fix. So now, on the Wednesday uh, patch, which was last night, they dropped another um, uh, 3.24.1 patch where the test and focus remains the same. Uh, they made an update under gameplay where the collision damage is now prevented from tractor beam entities. So um, they also have some bug fixes with this one. They fixed an issue causing destroyed ships to become unclaimable. They fixed an issue where you're unable to sell or do to transition cost mismatch error they fixed an issue where some elevators have grayed out panels they fix, they fix an issue where some elevators have grayed out panels and do not respond when called they fix an issue where elevators are present but the panel buttons stop functioning they fix an issue where the medium ground vehicles can be spawned in a small size personal hangar and will not let the small hangar spawn medium ground vehicles uh, they fix an issue where the vehicle cannot be retrieved while the Argo Atlas is in the hangar elevator uh, should not be stored. They fix an issue where EVA death is playing the standard death animation. They fix an issue where when an instance hangar is assigned an exit door, the external door does not open properly. They fix an issue where the Atlas gets stuck on collision traversing from vehicle interior object container down an exterior ramp along with this is an atlas client crash when using visor swipe or mobi glass they fix three client crash fixes as well as one server crash fix before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one issues now recruit new and better players if you're interested we find a discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one